guys, it's Anne. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, I do a lot of things about vermicompost and I do a lot of experiments with different kinds of worms and different kinds of bins and different kinds of things to feed them. And today we're going to look in on the eat my blue jeans and the eat my shirt bins. So hang on and you will see what the worms can do in a very short order with cotton clothing. So it has been 40 days since we've looked in on these bins. And uh, just as a side note, these blue jeans have been in here for 250 days since December 13th. So let's have a look and see what those worms are doing. Last time when we looked in on them, we thought maybe it was going to be time to start migrating. So I think, you know, as I'm going through, we'll take out the bigger chunks of, of things that we see in here and uh, maybe we will be able to harvest this bin today. Of course the blue jeans are not done, you can still see some things going on there, but I think we will sort of do a bit of a uh, light migration and start pulling out castings as we go. When I go back in I'll be able to grab any worms that we've, we've snatched. So they clearly have not actually done the migrating at this point, but I am ready to harvest it. So it turns into a matter of they're getting evicted. And I will just keep doing this uh, light migration here as I go. Hopefully there's more worms over there than there is in the castings. But we have the uh, worms under some very bright shop lights right now. And so um, we're going to do an impromptu light migration of these worms. Now there's about a pound of my Uncle Jim's mix, which is red wigglers, European night crawlers, and blue worms in here. And so they are very susceptible to light. So they do tend to uh, get out of the way when they're under the bright shop lights. Now I came up with this idea, of course, there's been a lot of people that have done the eat my shorts bin, etc. But, you know, it really did get me thinking that the point of my channel is to rec rescue things from the landfill. And many times when you get done with a pair of, you know, jeans or clothes or whatever, they're really not in any shape to donate to the Goodwill or the Salvation Army. So, you know, what are you, what are you left with? Um, garbage or compost or something. So that is why we are doing this here, because by uh, donating things that the, uh, the Goodwill and whatnot don't want, you're just creating more work for them and causing a larger expense. So it's really better not to donate things that they, they would not want. These castings are very done. They look very, very good. So, um, I can get started on my fall garden pretty soon. Oops, there's a worm. Get out of there, buddy. The castings are also a bit wet, so we might not be able to do a 100% evacuation of all the worms here, simply because it is rather wet, and light migration doesn't always work great when the castings are muddy. So we will do the best we can and get these guys out of here. Actually, we're going to keep the guys in here and we're going to get the castings out of here. You knew what I meant. Yeah, that's not migrating, guys. Okay. Another thing that I plan to do today is I'm going to combine the Eat My Shirt bin with the Eat My Blue Jeans bin because I'm getting too many darn bins to take care of. And, you know, as I said, it was 40 days since we've looked in on the Eat My clothing experiments. So, in order to get things going a little faster, I'm going to be doing some combining of bins and experiments. And then, uh, hopefully, we can get in to see things a little bit more often. Okay, here we are. Uh, I've taken out about as much as I'm going to take out here. So let's see what these blue jeans are doing here. 
Okay, now last time we gave them some goo, which was, um, I think, pasta and grain and nuts. So let's see what they are doing. It's a solid mass. I think it's a solid mass of worms. I'm still seeing that kind of uh, feather boa look here. But as far as the blue jeans go, looks like we've still got some left of the pockets. I'm starting to wonder if the inside pockets aren't actually cotton. Um, I don't see that they're breaking at all, you know, or breaking down. Um, so I'm starting to wonder if the inside pockets are actually any sort of cotton. Um, they might be a synthetic material. So we will keep going, even though it's been 250 days since the worms have had these blue jeans. But I am going to try and get everything over on one side and harvest the castings. And then what we are going to do is we're going to do a mashup. So we're going to harvest these castings. We're going to look at the Eat My Shirt bin while we're letting these worms scoot down here. And then we're going to do the same thing to there, and then we're going to have two bins in one. If you're liking this video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. All right, here we are at the Eat My Shirt bin. And it is, you can tell, very overworked. It's getting very sticky. Um, so it's, it's a good thing that we decided that we were going to harvest today because I think if I let these castings go any further, we might get in trouble. All right, so I'm just going to start pulling them out and putting them in the mortar tray that I'm going to use to uh, process the castings. I don't see very many worms in here, so that's lucky. Um, as she says that, she finds a worm. And even though this looks much more done, you can see the eggshells in here pretty easily. The, uh, the paper bedding, I think, perhaps it just makes such a lighter casting that uh, the difference between the two in the blue jeans and in this one, I think, is very noticeable. The blue jeans castings are almost black, like you get with leaf, uh, leaf mold, but these are very pale, like, uh, like milk chocolate. So this actually is going better than the, the jeans bin because these are, the worms are migrated out much better. So for the cotton shirt, it took about 150 days to process the whole shirt down to just the threads. But now we're gonna peel back and we're gonna see what this shirt is that didn't have a tag on it. So we don't know if it was poly or if it was, um, you know, and I think, I, think, I think this is the test. I think we're done. I will try and uh, get the worms out of here. Maybe uh, set this in a, in a bucket of rainwater to, uh, get the worms out but it's been six months and this shirt although it looks dirty it is not going anywhere so if there was anything edible here for the worms maybe if it was 75 percent poly and 25 percent cotton I think they've eaten the cotton part I mean it is I don't know if you can see very well but it is a little see-through where it wasn't when I put it in the bin so I'm gonna take it out it's just really not you know a good fit for this experiment if it's not going to be a cotton uh, piece of clothing. So we put in a pair of chaps or khakis or whatever you call it and I believe we had baby carrots in here last time and the worm, <laughs> wow, 40 days and that's all it takes. Look at them go. Look good worms. So they have definitely made some impact. In fact, if I lay them out, the whole back of the jeans is gone. The whole back. Um, if I set them up, like these two things weren't together. So this is, this is all gone. Like gone, gone. But look at that. Sweet. So that is really going nicely. 
Um, but I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the blue jeans and I'm going to move these off to the side so that we can harvest these castings. Kind of get these guys into a uh, light migration as well. And then I'll move this part here that has been not eaten yet and I'll put that in with the blue jeans. Okay, so get the light migration going here. Put the paper bedding in there. It might not be as easy to get it going because then the worms have some place to hide from the light. But we'll see what we can do. And since there's going to end up being twice as many worms in here, I don't have to be 100% with the castings, getting them out. Uh, we can always rescue the worms later when I'm sifting the castings, when they get a little bit drier. But yeah, that looks pretty good. I think that uh, the bin where the blue jeans was was a little bit bigger, so I think these guys can go and live in with them. Okay, so we'll take the, the last top off of this and try and leave as many worms as possible. But you can tell there's probably now going to be quite a lot of worms in here. There's probably pushing two pounds of the red wiggler mix, which is the red wigglers, the European night crawlers, and the blue worms. But I'm going to say that it's predominantly reds and blues, not as many of the uh, European night crawlers. So we've got that dry stuff that was on top. We can put that over here with the blue jeans. Then I'm going to add the, the worms from this bin which means we're going to have to feed them more than we did before. All right, so we've got, we've looked at the shorts, we've looked at the jeans, and now I've got another piece of clothing to add to the mix. Okay, so I have a queen size sheet that I am going to add to the mix here. Uh, dogs uh, were running around and managed to hook their claws and put a couple of rips in the sheet so now it is going to become part of the experiment so now we have blue jeans shorts and a queen size sheet so being that that, is, that sheet is dry i'm going to give them pretty wet feeding i'm not sure if they're going to get all this maybe not all this let's the uh, the bread let's take out some of the potatoes and the the harder stuff because we do really want something that's wet that's going to uh, get in with the fabric and drip in hot dog buns uh, if anybody uses or you know avoids using bread in their bins because it turns like a brick and molds um, here's your hack for the day uh, soak it in water until it turns into goo and then uh, you won't have that same problem where it turns into a brick but these worms have more than enough stuff in here, but I am going to get them a little bit of bedding because we do want to cover up this food. Getting down to the last of my bedding here. Might have to backfill with some castings. Alright, oops, nope, no escaping. Alright, so they will have a lot of work to do before we look at them again. So now this is jeans and shorts and sheets, oh my! If you like these kind of experiments, I do have a playlist that I will link right over there. YouTube, of course, thinks you will like this video over here. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.